Man, let's get this toast on. I'm ready to toast it up. I'm ready, 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 ready. See you in a minute. Brother Shaka, thank you for joining us, man. Thank you for joining us. We're about to do this daily toast. I got two things out today. It's that Imani, and we're going to talk about the process. Trust in the process since we are on Imani. All right, so bring them out, bring them out. 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 Ah, all right, cool. Um. Of course, we start with our water. Get you some water, Brother Shaka. Let's go and drink up some water if you ain't already drunk it, because you've probably been up playing music. All right? Make sure y'all drink your water. It's important to get that water in the body. A lot of us are suffering from dehydration, fam. Get your water. Half your weight. Turn that into ounces. So if you weigh 180 pounds, cut that in half, right? And that half, well, dang, take that 90 and drink 90 ounces of water, right? Make sure you get enough water in your body. I'm trying to, I'm trying to start off with at least 16 ounces in the morning. Uh, are we about to salute the ancestors, fam? We're going to do a toast. I know some of y'all used to libations, but we toasting and we're pouring the liquid inside of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Healthy liquids, right? Mm. Life-giving liquids. All right. So we're going to start. I'm going back. So I got the ginseng over there. I want to start. Woo! Damn, I almost popped the top up on my hand. Okay. We're going to start with the Death Eater. This is the mature, mature Death Eater, right? So, we're going to toast some of our ancestors. First, woo! Smell like it got cayenne in it. Every day it surprises me. Just watching it evolve and grow. All right. Okay. Alright. Actually, I should put some cayenne in it because that'll help with my... I'll do that later. Alright. So here we go. First, toast to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call that great energy. We call that great power. We call that omnipotent force. That om omnificent force. We call on it and we say, Ashe. Right? From there, we move to our personal ancestors. And let me start off by calling out the ones that my brother put up here. We got a Josiah Britt. We got a Julianne D. Askew. Right? We toast them. We toast our personal ancestors. We call on those ones that made sure that we was able to have. 
right? We called on those that made sure that we was blessed. We called on those that prayed for us in a lifetime. We called on those ancestors to come out and to, to join us and to help us in our lives and to pass on wisdom to us. I know a lot of y'all get kind of spooky on that, right? But understand your ancestors can't communicate with you, right? So we toast all of our family. Oh, they still here? Oh, you was just, okay, you was, oh, my fault, you was shouting them out, my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. So we want to mark them off the ancestor list. <laughs> and we still want to toast our ancestors, right? So we're going we gonna to salute our personal ancestors. I'm going to run through my family line. Some of y'all need to start building up your family line because what we're going to talk about in the process when I go when I go to my YouTube piece is that we are going to start talking about trust in the process. Right? Because when we start saluting our ancestors, our ancestors start saluting us, family. I need y'all to understand that. All right? Um, Shouts out to Brother Julian. All right? Thank you for joining us. So we saluting our ancestors. Right? Our personal ancestors. So I'm going to go through my family line. You go through yours. If you have any personal ancestors that you want me to say, please post them up on the timeline. We call on Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert the Tech Center, Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and Will, uh, uh, Georgia and William Walton, Christopher and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, um, uh, Cleveland Brown, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Aunt, my, um, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, uh, Cecil Ellis. Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, Montague Pittman L, Elder Donaldson, Normal X, Dr. Mary Ann Williams, all those that came to my mind and all those that rest in my heart. Uh, we got Dwayne Askew, we got Powell Matthews. All right. And the others, we salute these ancestors. We call on them because we know, we know that once we start developing relationships with our ancestors, the world starts opening up for us. We start seeing the world a little bit differently. Why? Because now we're working with more than just our plain two eyes. We have our spiritual eyes out there. Family, when you start asking your ancestors and you start saluting your ancestors, you empower your whole life. All right. So I'm shouting out and we say, I say, right from there, we toast this moment. For those that are new here, we don't call on the days of the week as everybody else do. We use our principles, so the days of money, we call on the money, right? Because in this moment is where your power is. Your power is not in your past. Your power is not in your future. Your power is in now. So we salute this moment of Imani, and we say, I say. From there, we move to our children, our children's children, on to affinity because everything we think, say, and do affects them. We are responsible for seven generations in the future. We are responsible for that. So every decision we make affects them. And we have to take it upon ourselves to start making sure that they will have a brighter future. So we toast and we say our say. And this goes out to anyone with any special issues that you need to salute. Anything that you need the ancestors to work on, anything in your heart, anything in your mind, any troubles that you might have, we ask for our ancestors to move on it for you, right? We ask for them to start making and opening the way for you, right? Because I got a major, I ain't even major, but I got an issue popping up in my life and I'm like, boom, I'm, I, I'm, I'm trusting the process, right? So we raise our glasses and we drink to them and we say, I say, I say. I say, I wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Man, that death ear is smooth. Man. Woo. And it's musty. Woo. I love it. Now, moving on to the ginseng. I just got an order for another gallon of ginseng. Somebody want to support the journey and they want a gallon of ginseng. So, for those new to the channel, man, this is what I call that ambrosia. 
Alright? That ambrosia is green tea and honey fermented. Alright? So I, I, I have a fermenting process where I take it through. I use a SCOBY and it's very, very powerful. It gives you something that you hear about now, nowadays. They are called probiotics. Right? Oh yeah. I got I got about five different ambrosias. I don't make them all at the same time. Man, this is this one is the ginseng. The one I just drunk for the toast was the uh death eater. So understand, you can add herbs to this. And this does nothing but makes more of the qualities in the herb, more more of the stuff in the herbs, more bioavailable. Why? Because it takes it through the fermenting process. I keep on trying to tell y'all, telling y'all one of the missing keys to our health is fermented foods. Right? And we could produce those ourselves. Right? A lot of them we could produce ourselves. You can make your own pickles. Fermented food. The pickles you eat right now ain't even real. Right? Y'all trying to get healthy. Y'all ain't, we ain't even eating real food. So yo, we toast. I'm going to toast to each one of y'all that join me. Shouts out to Kwesi Lowe. Shouts out to Shaka Sion. Um, shouts out to Brother Julian. All right, that's it for the day. So, hey, I'm about to say peace out, Facebook. I'm going to enjoy my drink. I'm going to go and talk to my people on YouTube and get my video done for the day. Ain't that right, YouTube? Peace out, fam. Unless there's some more ancestors out there. All right, peace. All right, so we about to get into it, fam. Are y'all ready? We about to get into it. All right. I want to thank y'all once again for allowing me to do the uh, Facebook piece because I haven't had any complaints about me doing Facebook right at the time when we do our thing, right? But like I said, y'all had the right to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because if I have to do that in a different way, I will. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to take anything away from the relationship I have established with those of you who have been joining me on YouTube. Um, the 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 issue today is way well, the issue. Um, we are talking about Iman, faith. Hold on. All right. Today is Imani, the day of faith. Harmony, which is the Mahdi principle. Trust, which is the M7 principle. And the Hermetic Law is gender. Oh, I owe y'all. Hold on. <coughs> Last day, y'all. Hold on. All right. A, a kind day names in their meaning. There we go. There we go. So... All right. First, on this is the first day of the weekend. And of course, I'm going to do some more research because I'm wondering how the impact of the incursions on Africa, how did that affect the days of the week? Um, but right now we're going to settle with what this this part of my research has brought up because I was I wanted to make sure that I got y'all some information about the day name since we was since we're changing the days and stuff like that and we're really I'm um, looking into it I want to really empower you you know what I'm saying find the day you was born on find the qualities of that what fits with you what don't because I'm trying to um I'm trying to pump you up right I'm trying to get you to move to the next level of life and find you some confirmations with some of the stuff that we're running into. So if you're born on a moja, you know what I'm saying? You feel the power of that day because some of the stuff I read lines right up with some of the stuff you've been experiencing in your life, right? Some of the messages that I might be giving, right? And bringing lines up with your life because I need powerful people working with me, right? I'm not doing this for no fan base i'm doing this to build warriors i need i need warriors i need people that's out here doing things because we got work to do and i can't do it by myself and i can't protect my children by myself right and i can't employ my children by myself 
although I'm going to give it a hell, of a hell of a try, right? We have to be, in a sense, as a tribe, partners. And we have to build, right? So we're going to get into trust in the process. But here we go. Quasiada, which is quasi or essi, right? It is to believe in the con that God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh day. Now, that is the question. We are going to do some deeper research and I'm going to find some more information for y'all because this sounds an awful lot like um, the Hebraic tradition, right? But this could have been first. The day names of the week are linked to the creation story and therefore explain exactly the great event of each particular day as God created. Quasiada means the day of which qua. Y'all remember what qua mean? What qua mean? Okay. Da means day, and C means to descend. So this is the creator day of descending. I did that one, but let's see what they say. Kwa Siada or Ko Ya Siada therefore means creator of life descended day. That is the day on which Kwa descended to the to begin creating the world, males and female. Born on this day are named Quasi and Essi, respectively, or Quasi or Koyasi, uh, means the Lord of Life descent and Essi descent. Quasi and Essi are therefore names to commemorate the first creative act of which was his her descent that brought light. You are the bringers of light, Quasi. Do, do. All right, so um, now we got a couple of things to cover, and y'all already know I'm on, I'm in a race against time. All right, y'all already know I'm in a race against time, right? I'm trying to keep these shows below thirty minutes. As y'all can see, I feel a lot better, right? Um. I uh, I did a, I did several different I shave breaths um, this weekend, especially last night, and I started. <sighs> Listen, we got to talk, fam. Look, those that got the tape for the eye shave breath. I mean, those that like I said, those that got the tape for the eye shave breath, the video, the the MP3 for the eye shave breath. Right, there's another level to it, fam. Listen, I'm telling you, when you start talking to your ancestors, your ancestors start talking back. Uh, this is, yeah, listen. Anyway, all right, let's make sure we get our supplements in. All right, so, of course, y'all know now. Anybody remember the qualities of this one? Coconut oil? Anybody remember the qualities? Because, like, I'm, I'm not playing with y'all. Listen, this stuff is affordable, and even if you can't got it, we got the breath and we got the water, right? 650 for this bottle right here, right? The most important principle for the uh the, I think the most important quality for me is the quick burn. Energy generation. Why? Because if you do an intermittent fasting, right, you're gonna need energy throughout the day. Now, starting off your day with coconut oil will automatically get your body looking for fat to burn. Right, so if you do a meditation and then you get into the cold shower, your body is automatically triggered to start burning fat rather than looking for the sugar. Right, so you know I'm uh, I'm gonna double up on that one. Mm. Plus all the other benefits we looked at yesterday haphazardly. Right, we ain't gonna go through that no more. I promise. All right, I might have to do another show on coconut oil. All right, real simple, real easy to get. Then we come to the palm oil, red palm oil, another African product that we can start shipping ourselves. We got connections. Some of y'all got connections all over, all over Africa. We can start importing this stuff ourselves. Mm. Ah. 
Watch it, it'll stain. All right. So we got that. Remember the qualities in that. All right. So the one we're going to talk about today is a black seed oil. And I know y'all say, oh, that's a different brand, Brother Hatim. Well, Brother Hatim is on a budget. So I went to the store to check out the black seed oil, right? So the one I had yesterday was $23 for four ounces. This one was $34 for eight ounces. So I did the math from my head and I said I get double for an extra $9. Okay, let's double it up, right? So now this one, they claim that they wild harvest their, their, their black seeds, right? So we're about to see the difference, all right? They say, listen, uh, this one is North America Herb and Spice, not that I'm doing a commercial, um, dietary supplement, or a black seed, essential fatty acids, sterols, and more. Now, that essential fatty acid thing is very important, um, omega-3 and omega-6, right now. But the one thing we got to watch out for is that in our culture, we are being overfed omega-6, which helps with um, help the body as far as inflammation. You start in, in, you know what I'm saying? You get a lot of inflammations, which could be a possibility of why we get sick. I ain't saying don't cut off um, um, omega-6, but the issue is you got to balance it out with omega-3. So this one has essential fatty acids, which means you probably got two, if not three, sterols and more. Highly aromatic. Let's see. Okay, it's all right. So you could inhale the herbs. Uh, natural antioxidant. Natural omega-3s, omega-6, and omega-9s. Omega-3 and omega-6, your body does not produce. We got to get them from the outside. All right? So omega-3s are really hard to get. In our culture, we're overdoing it. And as my, my good friend... And one of my teachers, Mr. Mazia Patachetta, used to tell me all the time when we was young and running around, too much of one thing is good for nothing. So anytime we're getting too much of one thing, you know what I'm saying, there's always going to be an ill effect. All right? So, and it's a, remote, it's a remote source. So what they're saying is that the source for these seeds are a remote there is wild. Okay, all right. So we're going to try this one. We got about maybe uh, two weeks with this. Then we'll talk about the black seed oil. So now, what we're doing during the 21 day in Guzzi Saba Challenge is that we're cleaning our bodies. We're preparing our shells. All right? What we prepared them for, Brother Hatem? Uh, got to get on the challenge to find out. That's not good, but that's not bad. Damn. I'll try some more of that. Black seed oil. Now, they say you can put this in soups and shit, but I don't I don't know about that. I don't even know about salad dressing. But I guess it's it's a quiet taste. If I could drink liquor. If you could drink liquor, you could take that. Alright? So let's read about it real quick. Black seed. So I'm not no longer doing the paper thing because I don't like how they print up. So for y'all, I'm going all the way back to my computer so I can tell you this is from naturalsociety.com. An article's title, title is Ancient Medicine Black Sea Oil 21 Powerful Health Benefits. Nigella sativa protects against diabetes, cancers, MRSA, and much more. Alright? Let's just read real quick. Now, I'm 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 reading it, but I'm just reading it so that I get you fired up about going out and getting the information. Alright? I need you to get fired up and start because we got to start researching. Because part of the Goose Cyber Challenge, or even if you just watching my videos, we have to start doing our own research. We have to start putting our own systems together. I am only structuring my system for me, right? I'm showing y'all that I could do it and you could use it, but 
I would advise you to set up your own system. Why? Because the way you're going to crash into your reality is going to be a lot different than the way I crash into my reality, right? And break it through the veil. So I can give you examples. I give you ideas. But I'm trying to get you to build your own system, right? Because I need you to have your own experience. All right. Also known as coming or caraway seed, black seed, nigella sativa. That sounds good. Has been used for over 2,000 years and is viewed as a healing wonder which research um, with research suggesting that it could be helpful in fighting illness of all kinds. Over 600 peer-reviewed um, studies proved this amazing little seed has more than 20 pharmacological actions on the body when taken in food or as a supplement. Yes, black seed oil benefits are plentiful and you will learn about them. The, early, the earliest med medicinal application of black seed is traced back to ancient Egypt. The serious they called black seed tinctura and ingested it to cure stomach problems. Externally, they used it to treat the eyes, nose, and mouth. And for skin inflammation such as rashes, bites, and sores, the Egyptians called it a panacea. And a bottle of it was even found in Tutankhamun's tomb. We're going to find, we, some of y'all out there going to find out whether that's real or not, right? There's a lot of stuff being rumors and conjectures. Somebody, somebody that's, that's really into the chemistry, please find out if they found some black seed oil in King Tut's tomb, right? All right. Nigella sativa, that shit sound good. What else is called sativa? I thought so. Has many of these pharmacological actions on the body. Analgesic, painkiller. Antibacterial, anti-ulcer, anti-inflammatory, anti-histamine, anti-cancer, anti-colonic, anti-fungal, anti-hypersensitivity, antioxidant, antipasmatic, antiviral, bron broncholator, glucogenesis inhibitor, anti-diabetic. It's anti-diabetic. Uh, heptoprotective, liver protecting, hypotensive, insulin sensitivity, sensitizing, interfer interferon inducer, Leukotrien anti antagonist. Wow, whatever that means. Renal protective, kidney protective, tumor, necrosis, factor alpha inhibitor. Many black seed oil benefits abound. Damn, that's just 21. Hold on. I'm interested now. Hold on. Just a few highlights of the many black seed oil benefits on health include. There are three natural phy um, phytochemical compounds in black seed oil that produce tremendous benefits that researchers were very surprised to discover. The three compounds are thymoquinine, TQ, thymohydroquinine, THQ, and thymol. Scientists learned that all three compounds show 100% inhibition, in inhibition for 30 different pathogens that were evaluated. TQ was the best antifungal compound against the derma, dermatophytus, that got something to do with, with the skin, and yeast. And thymol was the best antifungal against mold. Phytochemicals in black seed help protect, protect, protect against cancer. Croatian scientists evaluated the anti-tumor activity of thymoquinine and, thym, and, and thymohydroquinine. In mice and discovered that the two phytochemicals in black seed oil resulted in 52% decrease in tumor cells. Being rich in these important phytonutrients, black seed works to fend off cancer through a variety of mechanisms. Anti-proliferation, apoptosis, induction, cell cycle arrest, reactive oxygen species, generations, anti-metastasis, and anti-angiogenesis. Chronic administration of nigella sativa changed pro and anti-inflammatory proteins 
The seed may act as a balancing factor on lymphocytes. Black seed supports liver health. Black seed oil causes gradual partial, partial regeneration of pancreatic beta cells. Black seed oil may aid in weight loss. Black seed oil can combat methicillin resistant Staphylococcus auroris. All right, I think that's all right. Let's read about that. While also effective against other infections, black seed oil is especially effective against killing MRSA. As more people experience infections that are resistant to antibiotics, black seed oil just might be the answer to faster, more thorough healing. More research is new, needed, though. So that those those super those super bugs, this shit then killed it. Did y'all hear me? All right, natural. Nigella sativa helps to lower blood pressure, post-surgical scar prevention. Damn. Thymoquinone, uh, an extract from black seed oil, was shown to protect neurons against synapsis, synapsis, jet, synapsis damage. According to a study published in Neuroscience Letters, thus Nigella sativa could be therapeutic for people with Parkinson's disease and dementia. Black seed guards against respiratory ailments. Black seed helps people recover from drug addiction. This amazing seed is, well, kind of amazing. Want to read further on black seed health benefits? You can. And if you have any black seed or benefits to share below, be sure to write a comment. We could have missed something. Green Med Info. Did y'all hear all that? Did y'all hear all that? Right? So now, right now my regimen, black seed oil, red palm oil, coconut oil, water, and that ambrosia. Better yet, let's do it like this. And that ambrosia. So now, that's just the beginning. I'm about to, we about to talk about that cayenne in a minute. But now, let's get to trust in the process, family. Let's, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I wanted to keep it under, I wanted to keep it under 30 minutes. But I'm sorry. All right. So today, we are on a day of faith, harmony, and trust. Family. Trust the process. Well, I was doing my meditation last night because my ears started bothering me. I, I got in. I took a warm bath. I know I shouldn't have did it, right? Took a warm bath, right? I needed to let the muscles relax. I know I absorbed all that shit that's in the water, right? And I don't even remember if I turned on the cold water afterwards. I don't even think I did it, but I'm going to take a cold shower this morning. Well, anyway, I went into my meditation, right? Starting with the breathing exercise. So now... The ashe breath, for those that don't understand, that's not the meditation. The ashe breath is the beginning of the meditation. Why? Because it keeps your mind busy. Because as you're reciting ashe and doing the things associated with ashe, that keeps your, your, your mind busy. Right? Because your mind wants to constantly be doing stuff. And after doing the breaths long enough, the mind kind of falls asleep. Right? And this allows you to really do your visualizations without interruption. This allows you to, to really start focusing on what you need, whether you got a match or whether you got an image that you want to focus on. It allows you, to gives you the time before the mind comes out of that cycle. It gives you time to really start impressing stuff upon your conscious as well as your superconscious, your unconscious. It allows you to do that. Right. So the breathing exercise gets your body into a rhythm. Right. And with that rhythm, anybody ever been in the rhythm knows that you think start getting on automatic pilot. You need no con. You don't need to be conscious. You don't need consciousness to tie your shoes. Most of y'all could wake up out dead sleep, be totally be halfway sleep and could tie a shoe. You could jump up and ride a bike and be still be sleeping. Some of y'all could drive sleep. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because it has become a rhythm. It has become an automatic. You, you are in harmony with it. It's something that you do automatic. And you get that. 
you get that rhythm going. You get into harmony and it's able to you able to function without conscious thought. You put the conscious part of your mind to sleep. All right. So I'm doing my I say breath. Then I'm able to drift into my meditation. I ain't got to rush because I ain't got to be nowhere. This was like I we was moving into money. And the thought came, trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. I mean, trust the process. What the fuck? Trust the process. Well, I ain't even talk about no process. You know what I'm saying? I'm stressed out. I'm being sued. Right? Uh, all types of madness happened at the school on, on, on um, Ujima. Right? And I'm like, damn. Right? Shit in my personal life. Damn. What? Right? My ear. Boom. My, and, you, and, 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 and on and on Neo. Nia, my ear went crazy, right? And I know it got something to do with the sinuses, but my nose is clear. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Is it, you know what I'm saying? What is going on? I don't have no, I have no sinus issues here, right? I, I'm not hocking up anything, right? Because those that don't know, the ears, nose, nose, and throat are all connected, right? So, so if I got issues with my ears, usually I will have some runoff at my nose or I will be hawking up something. I don't got nothing going on, but I got a massive amount of pressure right here. It started right when I started taking the black seed oil, when I started incorporating all the oils, right? And I'm sitting up here like, well, damn, I can't be sick. Um, I'm that ambrosia man. Can't be sick. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I said I had to do is I had to let my people know, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, I get on the video, I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I got to be honest with y'all. It's something not right. So I'm in meditation. like, trust the process. And part of the process, any process, especially at the beginning of the process, right? You, even though I'm not, I'm at a new beginning, right? But even... At the, at the beginning and at certain points in the process, there's a there's a hump that you have to get over. And a lot of people give up at those humps. And basically, basically, the question is whether I'm going to give up at this hump. And I'm, I'm asking you the same thing. See, because those of you that's, that, that will take the Ngoose Cyber Challenge, right? Or whether you just start cleaning your body out or whether you start doing whatever you're doing. You're going to hit a hump. The question is, can you trust the process? Right? Not the person. Not Brother Hot Tim. Not the person that has prescribed the process. Not even the, not even the, if it's some type of spirit. Again, not even that. Can you trust the process? See, because the process is not bound in the reality like I am. I have failings. Other teachers have failings. Can you trust the process? See, because the process needs you to, 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 to put trust in it so that you can work all the way through it. Right? Because it's going to take you from one, one point to another. Right? So when you receive the process, it's like receiving a road map. Now you got to do the walk. Right? Just because, have you ever been on a long journey and felt like you was lost? Even though you're going everywhere that the map's saying, it says um, an accident 50 miles, and it feels like you done drove 50 miles and you ain't see this accident, you start to really wonder whether or not you're going the right way. And against all the things inside of you, you're not stopping, you're not pulling off the road, you're going to keep on going. That's how processes work. My elder, one of my elders, called it the lonely miles. He said... Brother I, Tim, I used to race cars and I used to jump in a car and I would be hurtling around a circle at over a hundred miles an hour. And the thought will always hit me for, and he say like, cause you know, those races be like 200, 300, 400, 500 miles, right? He like, man, I used to wonder right about halfway, why the hell would I strap myself into this car? And hurdle at death-defying speeds 
for hours. Why am I doing this shit again? And he called those the lonely miles where you start really start doubting what you're doing. But we have to have the lonely miles. Why? Because it, it, it builds up the principle of faith within us. It builds up the principle of trust within us. Right? Because many of us, we think that everything is supposed to be automatic. It's supposed to come quick. Right? But the changes you need to make in your life will not come quick. There are no shortcuts. You're going to have to do the lonely miles. You're going to have to have some doubt. And even in that doubt, you're going to have to push through. Family, this shit is real. Right? Now let's talk about the other part of trusting the process. Those of you that's joining me for the daily tools. Right? Please understand. When you call on your ancestors, when you call on your personal ancestors, you are unleashing a power in your life. You are feeding individuals who have been forgotten for generations. And they are going to show their appreciation to you. Y'all need to understand, our ancestors out here starving. See, a lot of people, see, nobody really want to deal with this, right? We wonder why we're struggling in our, com in our communities in the way that we're doing. Our communities are a reflection of our spiritual life. Yeah, we're praising Jesus and shit, and Jesus shit is good. But what about Grandma Johnson and Grandma Fillmore and, and, and Grand? you know what I'm saying? What about all these grandmas that we done forgot? Our reality reflects our ancestors' reality. Re reflect the spiritual reality we have left our ancestors in. We left them in the hell. And the challenge for us is to trust the process and understand that once you start calling on your ancestors, in addition to doing the other spiritual stuff you've been doing, once you start saluting them, once you start pouring for them, once you start drinking for them, once you start calling their names, you start feeding them. And then all of a sudden, little things are going to start to click in your life. This is why I'm saying your personal ancestors. This, see, because I need y'all to understand. Some people don't want you to understand the power that's in your bloodline. So they'll get you focused on Marcus Garvey. Maybe Marcus Garvey is in your bloodline. But they'll get you focused on people outside of your family. This is why I've always stressed personal ancestors. Personal ancestors. Even when I'm poor, even when I was poor on the national level, I'm... I try to spend the most time, and if those of you know people that know me, ask them. I try to spend most of my time on personal ancestors because I understand. And I need you to understand. I need you to understand that once you start this process and you start to trust the process, right? Your life is going to start to change. Like, for example, the lawsuit. I'm not even concerned about that. Even though physically stuff happened, right? Because now I'm cleaning my body out once again, right? And now, and I took all that sugar in like I told y'all before. And is looking for a way to kind of derail what I'm doing. Y'all got, we got forces in us, right? Right now, there's forces in us. Like, for example, think about this. The one part of your being that runs your entire life is the youngest part of you. Your ego is the youngest part of you. Every cell in your body could be traced back to the beginning of the universe. Your spirit. Your spirit has been here since the beginning. Emotions, you have picked those up and have been passed from generation to generation. That even the trauma that you got is older than your ego. And your ego is the very age that you are. Every time you celebrate a birthday, you're celebrating your ego. You're not really celebrating your birthday because your birthday is unknown and, and your age is incomprehensible. But the youngest part of your being is running your life. The most inexperienced. Part of you is running your life. That's sort of, it's sort of like this. It's sort of like having a whole family. Where you got the elders in the family, the grandparents, the great grandparents. You got the parents living in the house. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, you know, and you you got 
the uncles, you got a whole house compound. And the one that run the house is the newest baby. I need y'all to listen. Do you hear me? Most of y'all lives are being run by a baby. The eagle don't know shit. I have to remind myself of that all the time. My eagle get offended by shit. It's the youngest part of you. And it's running your life. It don't know shit. That's why you got to plug into your, your, your spirit. This is why you got to pull it. When you're pulling on your intuition, you're pulling on a universal, if you, you're pulling on a universal information field. There, there is even, there's not even a date for when that began. There's not even an age that you could put on it. From that information field from which the intuition pulls, right? Galaxies was formed. Pyramids were built. And that's the young shit. Intuition, mental, right? Even your mental capacity is older because most of the information you get is older than your ego. So I'm going to stop. And I'm going to say I apologize for running over. But we have to start trusting the process, family. We have to start. We are, this is, this is, this is so, so, so. It, there's a whole nother side that we're not even seeing. It's all, it's, we, we are, they used to call it the veil of Isis. Right? For those that follow mythology, Isis, one of Isis' power was that she was a she was the queen of magicians and she could weave illusions. And we are in the midst of one of her illusions. And the goal of a master, the goal of an apprentice, the goal of a student is to see beyond her veil. So that we can really look at the beauty. We haven't even seen the beauty of the place we are in yet. We are seeing other people's. We are seeing other people's thoughts. We are seeing other people's reality. And I'm just saying family. We got to push beyond. We got to clean ourselves up. We got to start doing our exercises. We got to start doing our breathing. We got to force. We got to force through our habits. And we got to work together. So that we can remind each other. Yo. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my. I'm gonna sit up here and finish my ambrosia with you. Listen, I'm sorry. You know I just get carried away, and you know, um, but yo, I want to thank all those that's been supporting the journey. I support. I thank. I even thank those that just that just go to the Guzzi Saba Challenge and look. You know what I'm saying? Um. I know it's going to, you know, like I said, those that need a process, I have a process to help you. And we're going to go deep. And eventually we're going to get to the 21 week. Some of y'all, listen, some of y'all, the 21 week warrior training. I'm not fucking around, y'all. Thank you for joining me. And we are out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.